Hello again, and welcome back. This is one of the, the non-contiguous videos with regard to Star Trek Online that shows something else. Um, this is basically displaying uh, one of the star bases that you can encounter. Right now we are in what is called the Eta Ariadani uh, sector block. I am probably mispronouncing that horribly. Not really that concerned. Uh, but anyway, we are on our way to deep space K7, and there's a couple of things that I was going to show you here. Uh, the last time around, I showed you how to do, do duty officer missions, and before that, I showed you how to do, um, or I showed you the interior tour of the ship, and before that, showed you a Borg attack, and all of these are being smattered in between the, the regular uh, episodes for um, uh, Star Trek Online that we're doing with uh, the I think he's level 6 or 7 now, character. Somewhere around there. I'm actually recording this when he's level 5. So, he might be level 6 or 7 by now. I'm not sure. Anyway, there's Deep Space Station K7. If anyone remembers Deep Space Station K7 or finds that familiar, if you watched Deep Space Nine, this was uh, part of an episode where uh, the crew of the Defiant went back in time and met Kirk and, well, didn't meet them, but uh, met Kirk and, and the crew of the Enterprise and it basically was oh, I was going to, to dock. Yes, when that pops up you can dock at Deep Space K7. Uh, which was essentially a recreation uh, a little bit different of uh, the original uh, series episode, which was the first appearance of Tribbles. I think one was called Trials and Tribulations, and one, the other one was The Trouble with Tribbles. Just straight out, The Trouble with Tribbles. So here we are at Deep Space k -Sub. Now before I get on to what I want to show you, which is basically uh, designing your uniform, I want to go over here because there is there's this character that you can talk to where everybody seems to be like well within his three foot personal space. I mean, does no one does no one have any any respect for personal space? But anyway, if you notice, his name is Captain Mackenzie Calhoun, and Captain Mackenzie Calhoun appeared in the Peter David written novel series uh, New Frontier. Um, which took a few characters from the actual Next Generation series, which included uh, Commander Shelby, who became Calhoun's first officer. You may have noticed something on Cal side of Calhoun's face. He's not exactly your stereotypical... Uh, let's put it this way. He makes... Calhoun made Captain Kirk look pretty straight-laced. Uh, so... Calhoun was the type of guy that you looked at him and it was like, Prime Directive? What Prime Directive? Um, no, I didn't want to be here, but I can make mention of this anyway. Uh, pretty much on every space station there is a club where you can go and party down. Uh, there are some role play groups that do attend certain things like this. Obviously there's nobody in there now, um, but uh, yeah, there's several different space stations that are available then, where you can go to a club or something along those lines. I don't know the names of every single club, but there are certain role play groups that do that. So I'm on my way to the armory, which is the location that I want to go to. Now we showed you this before. There is um, one of these gentlemen, and in every single location, they're always Cardassian. I know that's like a tip of the hat to Garrick uh, from Deep Space Nine, who was a tailor, but I mean, really, you don't have to make every single one of them uh, a, uh, a Cardassian. But anyway, this is all of the different uniforms that you can create. Now, some of these uniforms I have managed to make with uh, costume pieces that I have either purchased through uh, the uh, EC store, which is the in-game store, which you use real money to buy uh, 
credits with, or Zen points with, which is the, the in-game uh, store money that you can use to buy certain things. Um, but anyway, the, this is just uh, costume pieces. This one here, which is a Mako set, is actually something that you can acquire through uh, those marks that I showed you before, through the reputation uh, stream. Um, once you get certain things like the, the costume sets, you can put them together and you have yourself a costume. Um, yeah, this is the Omega one, which has got like grenades all over it. Uh, Off-duty costume, one of the Ryza outfits. This is the costume I use most of the time, which is more of an armored outfit. And then here's sort of the, the bridge officer's uniform. I don't like this one. I was trying to make the di diplomat's uniform. Didn't work out. Well, actually, it is the diplomat's uniform. Yeah, it worked out not too badly. Um, I'm not a fan of it. I may swap that out, create uh, an admir actual admiral's uniform. But anyway, this is the costume that I stick with most of the time. You may notice up here, too, you've got bridge officers. Bridge officers do not have access to this many costumes as what I've got. They basically have one. And you can do every single one of your bridge officers. Um, I haven't switched up these ones because these are some special ones. That is a Voth, and yes, you can get a Voth bridge officer for your crew. Uh, this is a Kabali. And this is uh, I can't remember what that species is. However, these are all bridge officers that uh, I have access to that can assist with certain things that I want to do. Some of these are not uh, up to commander or lieutenant commander, but these are... This one is my Orion one, who is the uh, officer that uh, you get for the highest level of diplomacy. I have a Borg bridge officer, or a liberated Borg bridge officer. Uh, that is one thing as well. If you get a lifetime membership with uh, Star Trek Online, you can play as a liberated Borg officer. So yes, you can change up your your crew's, uh, your bridge crew's uh, uniforms as well, which includes everything that you can for your own character, which includes the stance, which includes uh, their uniform, how they look, all this type of stuff. So but anyway, that was another one. I just wanted to show you how uh, things looked uh, for the costume creator. Uh, thank you very much for uh, joining me this time around, and I hope to see you again uh, in an upcoming episode. Bye for now.